everybody. Welcome to, I think it's week 60 of the DVD Kings. Um, today I will be reviewing a movie I really, really like. Uh, I saw this pretty much back when it first came out, if I'm right. Uh, and that movie is Pet Cemetery 2. Uh, this is the uh, follow-up to the original Pet Cemetery movie. Um, basically, this takes place as, uh, I think it's, I don't know how much further past the original film. But, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Edward Furlong. I can't believe I forgot that. Edward Furlong plays this, this character, Jeff, whose mother gets killed on the set of a horror film that she was uh, starring in. And they end up burying her in the, her old town, and they end up moving there as well. Uh, with, he ends up moving there with his father. Um, and being the new kid in town, he does get picked on because, and on top of that, he was... You know, it, like his mom was famous and everything. Uh, but he moves to this town and he gets nothing but hassled by this, this group of kids. Um, but he befriends one of them that's kind of more of an outsider who also doesn't really have the greatest thing going on at home. Uh, he has this, uh, like a pretty much verbally abusive and just an asshole of a uh, stepfather who is a cop and thinks that whatever he says is right no matter what and he's also obsessed with like this uh, he has some uh, rabbits as pets but anyways uh, what's happening is uh, he finds out about the whole the old, uh, whole pet cemetery thing because the kids were messing with him and they took his cat He's chasing after him to get his cat back, and they end up going into the pet cemetery. And they said that the cat got killed or whatever on the way there, and that it's off in the cemetery. Well, he decides to go in and look at it, and he finds it. Pretty much what one thing that's cool about that whole scene is that it actually really does look like from the original first film. Uh, it does look like the whole original pet cemetery that was in that one. And also, they go past the Creed house, which is right next to it. Uh, that looks pretty much just like the original one. Uh, from the original film, they did a pretty good job about that part, uh, especially trying to keep with the story. Um, but basically, he befriends him, befriends the one kid. After that all happens, he he found out about the pet cemetery. Uh, well, the one kid, his dog was messing with like his uh, stepfather's uh, rabbits, and his stepfather ended up shooting the dog. The dog ended up dying. Uh, so he. Like, I think it's later the next day, this happened at night, uh, he gets hold of uh, uh, Edward Furlong's character and they end up uh, going and taking it, going out to like the Indian burial ground to bury it because he heard about the whole thing about uh, the whole Creed family thing they knew about and all that, where he could bring it back to life. Um, of course, he buries it, the dog does come back to life, and a bunch of other stuff happened after that. Uh, I'm not really going to tell too much more about the story because I really don't want to give off too much more because I don't want to ruin it for anybody who has not seen this film. Um, it does have some pretty cool parts in it. Like I said, I, I really like the whole, you know, them doing a good job. They did a good job with the whole Creed house and all that kind of stuff, and you really want to keep to that. Um, the, uh, there's not really a ton of kills in this like movie, like a ton of people dying, but when this stuff does happen, it's pretty damn good. Um, well, the uh, stepfather of the one kid, uh, he gets attacked by the dog, his, and the dog's name is Zowie. Gets attacked by him and killed. And so, they bury him, bring him back. Uh, but the part I really like is uh, the one bully who's messing with uh, them and everything like that. Uh, the stepfather, while, you know, after he came back to life, he takes... Uh, he pretty much runs his kid off the road. While his kid's on the ground, he takes his uh, like a uh, his like motocross like a uh, bike and starts it up and everything. And gets like close to his face. What happens is uh, his scarf gets caught up in the wheel, like the gears and everything. It pulls him up to it and like hits gets him gets his face and kills him. Uh, that was pretty cool right there. But. Um, Overall, I have to say, it did a pretty good job with keeping up with the uh, in the tradition of the first movie. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as good as the first movie, because I thought the first movie had like, this nice creepiness to it. 
especially that little kid in the film. He was pretty awesome. But overall, this is pretty damn good. I, I really enjoyed it. I like Edward Furlong from, uh, like, one of my favorite films that he ever did was, besides Terminator 2, was Brain Scan. I thought he was amazing Brain Scan, which I think actually was made after this film. Um, but yeah, this one's just great. I mean, it is a whole new story. It's not going to be like, you know, you really can't compare it to any book. But it's good. Um, I, th I, I really enjoyed it. I've actually enjoyed it ever since I first ever seen it. And one thing that's cool about this DVD, it actually has the original cover, the original post art, because I remember this post art. I think it was even the same on the VHS. Uh, they have a new one that looks really crappy and just pointless to even get. But like, well, it's not pointless to buy the movie even if it has a different cover, but I like this cover way more. Just like my Pet Cemetery has original cover to the film on it. Um, but I would definitely highly recommend this to at least give it at least one shot. There's a lot of you that probably have seen it. There's a lot of you that probably haven't seen it. But I really uh, suggest you do go see it if you have not seen it. Um, that's my review for this week. And one of the last thing I'll even say on this, though, unfortunately you only get the actual trailer on this DVD. But yeah, that's my review for this week. You guys take it easy. Keep coming back. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. You know, the whole shebang. Alright guys, bye.